Have you ever met someone really remarkable? Not, my dad's a remarkable guy kind of great, but the kind of, I don't know what just hit me kind of remarkable. I'm Susan Diamond, and my vlog today is called Remarkable People. I saw the movie The Social Network last night, and it brought back memories of three remarkable people I've encountered who have left a lasting impression on me. I'm going way back in the time machine for the first one. His name is John, and he was a client of mine. This was in the late 90s when the internet was just getting hot. I owned a small mar telemarketing firm called Call Station, and we did lead generation for John's startup. The business sold banner ads on websites when online advertising was just trying to figure itself out. Others may say there was nothing remarkable about John. He was smart, that's for sure. He was young, no more than 24. And although he appeared to be chill, he was the most focused, determined, and driven person I had ever met. It was late Wednesday afternoon, and he confided in me that they didn't have money to meet payroll on Friday. So John and his partner sat down at a folding table and they made phone calls, round the clock through Friday, selling enough banner ads to keep their business afloat another week. And John went on to sell his company for millions during the dot-com craze. He had the foresight and the good timing to do it early enough so that his stock vested and he kept his fortune. The next remarkable person I met was Rahm Emanuel. The ex-White House Chief of Staff is in the national spotlight as he begins his listening tour in his bid for mayor of Chicago. But I found myself in Rahm's orbit early in 2005. He came bursting into a meeting with a conference room full of pro-Israel activists. They had deep pockets and a history of supporting Democratic congressional candidates. In less than 10 minutes, he finished his business, shook hands with everyone present, and left. I was literally breathless. His energy was physical, powerful, as if he had an electric fence surrounding him. The third remarkable person I've encountered is our president, Barack Obama. I met him early in his political career in a crowded living room in North Suburban Chicago. I saw him following his U.S. Senate election in a library on Capitol Hill, and I was seated back to back with him at a fundraising event for his presidential campaign. That last meeting was my favorite. I was sitting at a round table listening to the speaker, and scratching an itch, I literally bumped my elbow into Barack's back. He turned around and I whispered, when did you sneak in? And he smiled that small smile of his and he squeezed my shoulder. My point is that there's something different about these guys that you don't see in everyone else. And when I was watching the movie about Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, it made me realize what it is that I find so remarkable in John and Ram and in Barack, and it's intensity. They all have superpowers of single-minded purpose so intense that they make exceptional things happen. It's a challenge for us mere mortals to find the balance between being driven and driving others away. When we pursue whatever it is that is our passion, may our intensity be tempered with good intention. And now, a prayer from prayables.com. I praise you for my purpose, my passion, my partner, my people, my portable peace, your perfection experienced. For purpose gives direction, passion unleashes my gifts, my partner, life meaning, my people, a heritage, my portable peace is your grace unequaled.